Welcome back. Our Richland personnel are dedicated to providing the product of safety and service to our community. Using the value of teamwork, integrity, and excellence as their guide, the department strives to uphold the highest standard of performance and ethics while ensuring a safe environment in which to live, work, and commute. They actively pursue innovative solutions to issues through a partnership with the community, as well as working to reduce the fear and impact of crime. The Richland Police Department has taken the regional lead with the Washington State Auto Theft Prevention Authority, as well as the lead in the Regional Auto Theft Task Force. Part of that leadership role has been applying for grants each year and implementing new technologies and strategies to help reduce our occurrences of auto theft. This year, the department received a $43,000 grant to use on equipment, and with that money, purchased two ALPR units, one for Richland and one for the Pasco Police Department. They're actually really amazing. They get mounted on a patrol car or a vehicle that you're going to drive in the community. They're up by the light bar. And what the ALP ALPR does is it picks up every single license plate that you pass. So you can drive through a parking lot and pick up all the license plates. You can drive on the, on the streets and in neighborhoods and pick up every license plate. And it just catalogs every single one of those license plates, sends it back to a server that's hosted in Post Falls, Idaho. And then from that data that's collected, we're able to have what we call hot sheets or vehicles of interest. And when, when, a, when a plate matches with a pre-programmed vehicle of interest, then the car gets alerted that they just passed one of those vehicles. Some of the, the additional uses that are really complementary to that is the ability to be in an area and have license plates be cataloged to look for license plates that are maybe out of place. For instance, if we had a neighborhood that was being plagued with car prowls or burglaries, we could drive through that neighborhood um, several times a day catalog those license plates that are there, identify the ones that should be there because people live in the neighborhood or live in the area, and more importantly, maybe identify a plate or two that's kind of out of the norm, maybe is only there during certain times of the day or night that happen to coincide with when the criminal behavior is occurring, and then it gives us fantastic leads for trying to make arrests for car prowls and burglars. If we knew maybe a car was involved in an abduction, of a child, like an Amber Alert, we can plug that in. So if we happen to pass that car, the ALPR would read it and alert the officer that they just passed the car that's the subject of, of an Amber Alert. Or a person of interest, or a, a missing person that we know left a residence in a car and we had the license plate number, we could program that in so that as we're driving around during the normal course of our duties, we'd be alerted to, to that vehicle as well. So there's a lot of different uses that are all directly tied to public safety that allow the ALP ALPR to be very successful. Richland is not on an island. We share an awful lot of things with our neighboring cities. We share economic development opportunities, um, you know, educational and recreational opportunities, and we also happen to share criminal behavior amongst the different cities. You know, no, none of the criminal behavior that occurs in Kennewick or in Richland or Pasco is specific to those communities. And so what's been important for us is to approach this from a regional perspective, understanding that as they collect data in Pasco or they collect data in Kennewick, and as we collect data, data here in Richland, is that we make that available for all three cities to be able to take a look at. We may have somebody that lives in Richland, that drives in Richland, that, we, that comes on the ALPR, that maybe is a person of interest in Pasco because of some criminal activity or Kennewick. And so that's part of the advantages. It's almost a force multiplier and we really take advantage of the economies of scale when we're sharing data. And we've really promoted here in Richland sharing data at every level with our sister cities to make sure that we can formulate the best plan possible for Richland with regards to public safety. Officers can and will continue to manually run license plates using the computers in their patrol cars to retrieve information like registered owners, driving status, and warrants. So in essence, this is not any different than what they currently have the ability to do manually. What it does do is it automates that same procedure. Chief Skinner shared with us that the department is only using the ALPR cameras for high threshold criminal behavior like stolen vehicles, persons of interest, Amber Alerts, etc the automatic license plate readers have been purchased with grant funds for auto theft prevention, and that's where it is focused. 